Hey there, it's Pete, GCI Turf. Uh, welcome back to the channel. And we're gonna call this part three of the sprayer calibration uh, series, I guess, if that's what you wanna call it. I had a question about carrier. It was a really good question too. And so I wanna explain what carrier means in relation to spraying your yard. Now to start, I want you to get an idea of uh, different rates that may go on a particular area. So you can see my paper here. This paper is gonna represent one acre of turf grass. And if you see, I have 43 blocks blocked out. That represents the 43,000 square foot. 43,560, but for this, uh, I couldn't break that up good enough on here uh, so we, we just got 43 blocks and we're gonna let that represent the 43,000 square feet that are in one acre and each block represents 1,000 square feet so why is this important well let me give you an example I've got a herbicide back here it's called Escalade the the rate uh, with Escalade is two to three pints per one acre. And it also has the ounces per thousand square foot rate as well. Well, Pilex is only one ounce or in some circumstances, one and a half ounces per acre, not per thousand, per acre. That's a big difference when you're talking about three pints, which is 48 ounces going on an entire acre versus one and a half ounces going on an entire acre. Major, major difference there. I doubt very seriously, as, as thick as this product is, I doubt very seriously you could take this Pilex and take an ounce and a half of it and apply it evenly over an entire acre without a carrier. You have to have something to carry the product onto that acre. So obviously, the best solution for that is water. That's why we call water our carrier. Now here's another example, uh, nut sedge. You can see this here, the measuring spoon, 0.9 grams. That means this little teeny tiny cap here, when you, when you fill it up level with the top, that's 0.9 grams per 1,000 square foot of turf. That's a very, very low, low rate. So keep that in mind when we're going over this. That'll kind of tie everything in together. So let's say for this example, I have my sprayer calibrated for one gallon per 1,000 square feet. So I'm gonna put one gallon of finished product on 1,000 square feet so over the course of an acre, I would use 43 gallons of finished product, not water. It would be finished product. <clears throat> Here's what I mean by that. All right, so, and, and again, you can use this uh, analogy or this example for any rate, or I mean, excuse me, any amount of carrier you want to use. Like if you watch uh, part two, you saw us calibrate a spray truck and we spray it two gallons per thousand square feet. So it would be two of these gallons per 1,000, which would bring that to 86 gallons per acre. That's finished solution. You got, you got to keep these two things, your carrier and your finished solution separate, at least I do. So for this example, we've got one gallon is going on a thousand square feet. I've got 16 ounces of humic acid right here that I want to apply to that 1,000 square feet. Now, yes, you might, technically, you might get spray straight raw humic acid, 16 ounces to 1,000 square feet. I doubt it would hurt a thing. Uh, you could, but for the example, I'm using humic acid because it's a dark color uh, to give you a good visual. So. I can't, if I take this humic acid, the 16 ounces, and pour it into this gallon, I just turned this into a gallon and 16 ounces. Do the math. Well, I can't, then I can't apply, 
if I apply that the same gallon to a thousand square feet, I'm gonna have 16 ounces of product left over. So my calibration, I'm off 16 ounces. So the way you correct this is your carrier, you get rid of 16 ounces, like so. Then you put your, so now we're down to what's 16 minus 128, whatever that is, uh, that's what I have left. Then I add my product and I get it back up to the gallon point. Now inside this one gallon, I have my 16 ounces of my product that I want to apply plus my carrier. So now if my back, as long as my backpack sprayer or my sprayer is calibrated to one gallon per 1,000 square feet, I can effectively put that 16 ounces over that 1,000 square feet. So for example, number two, let's say you have several products or multiple products or more than one product you want to apply per 1,000 square feet. Remember, our sprayer is calibrated to one gallon per 1,000 square feet. Now, we've got our, we're gonna call this our yellow product, our black product, and our blue product. You can let those represent anything you want it to represent, herbicide, fungicide, pre-emergent, whatever, that's up to you. But for the example, we're gonna call them yellow, black, and blue. All right, so I've got my one gallon, I've got 32 ounces of my yellow, I've got 16 ounces of my black, and I've got 16 ounces of blue that needs to go on this 1,000 square feet. Before I do this, I want you to know that most labels have a recommended amount of carrier to use for their product. So you, you can't, this is strictly to get you to help you to understand the concept behind it. Uh, you are responsible to read that label. I can't stress enough that label is on that package for a reason. It's not just there to look pretty. It's got a lot of detailed information inside of it, so you need to educate yourself on the product you're using by reading that label and making sure you're following their guidelines. So I've got 32 ounces, 16 ounces, and 16. So if you do the math, that is 64 ounces. So in order for me to accurately apply this over a thousand square feet, I need to get rid of 64 ounces of my carrier, my, my water. So we're gonna come over here and And once you do this a million times and you mix, you can do this in your head. Uh, well, at least I do. I just I do the math in my head and I'm done with it. But like I said, I've been doing it for a pretty good while. It does take practice. So now that I've gotten rid of 64 ounces of my carrier, I can now add my yellow. I can add my black. And I can add my blue. And when I do that, I'm back up to my one gallon mark. So now I can take this one gallon of finished solution. This is no longer my carrier because I, I've, I've converted the carrier by adding my products in. So I call this my finished solution. Now I can take my sprayer that is calibrated to one gallon per thousand and go apply this to a thousand square feet. Now, of course, if I were gonna do this over the course of an acre, I would multiply these numbers times 43.56. So to finish this off, why is this so important? Well, it comes down to your quality you're giving your clients. Uh, they're paying you for a certain amount of service, a certain amount of product, you want to ensure that you are delivering that. And then also, you don't want to go broke over applying products. Because when you get into products like Pilex, that cost $450 for eight ounces of it, you want to be sure you're quite accurate in applying that. Because if you mess up a couple of times, that can really hurt your pocketbook. 
So how would this help you with your mixing? And, and how would it relate to you out there in the garage and you're, you're, you're mixing up your pre-immersion or post-immersion or your Air 8 or your Humic 12 or your fungus, whatever you're mixing up, how does this help you? Well, the way we do it on a larger scale is we would, we're gonna to stick to the one gallon per thousand because that's what we've been using in the video. And so that means over the course of an acre, I would use 43 gallons of finished product, finished solution. So let's say in that uh, 43 gallons, I'm going to have, so pick a number, let's say five gallons, just for simple math's sake, we know we're going to put five gallons of our product, regardless of what that is, fungicide, humic, whatever, pick something, five gallons, and then we've got 40 gallons of uh, of finished solution. So you need to subtract the product from your carrier. So I know that 43 gallons uh, is what I need to cover an acre and I've got five gallons to, uh, to apply of product. So I need to subtract that. So that means I need 38 gallons of water plus five gallons of product gives me my 43 gallons of finished solution. And of course, if you're smaller scale, you math down. If you're larger scale, you math up. It's the concept of it all is what I'm trying to get you to understand. So your, your carrier uh, is the water and your, your product mixed with the carrier is finished solution. And the way we do that with mixing is, uh, let's say we have that five gallons of product and 38 gallons of water. Well, we may only put uh, 25 gallons of water in the tank, then add our product, stir it up, agitate it, mix it, and then raise the rest of the level to the 43 gallons. That just makes it so easy for mixing. So you, you don't you don't fill up your 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 40 gal 43 gallons of water. Then you have to remove five gallons of it and then put five gallons of product in. That just doesn't make any sense. It it it. it it, it, it's not feasible so you just you that's why on most of these labels you will read it will say add uh, half of your water or half of your carrier then add your product while it's agitating while it's mixing and then finish filling up to the desired rate with water so uh, I hope that wasn't too complicated that's kind of difficult for me to explain, but I, I hope I got the point across to you. So, the next step in this series is we're going to learn how to calibrate a backpack sprayer, specifically a battery powered one. I had a real long, detailed question about that, and it was just way too much to answer with uh, typing. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video, and I'll put that. We'll call that part four. So. Like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Uh, if you want to see these videos like this, uh, keep coming. I'm absolutely having a blast doing this calibration because it's the, it's the nuts and bolts of a spray company. Uh, if your equipment isn't calibrated, you're not doing it correctly. It's just that's the bottom line. So uh, get your sprayers calibrated and uh, Academy members... Uh, just to update the sprayer nozzle assembly and the natural adjuvant package should be back in stock somewhere around Thursday or Friday this week. So all of you that have tried to make that purchase, I apologize. Uh, thank you to all the other folks for the orders. I kind of got behind on it, to be honest with you, but I have ordered a buttload of it. So uh, I shouldn't run out for a pretty good while. So by Thursday or Friday, you can order that. And uh, for new guys, new folks watching the channel, uh, the GCI Turf Academy, we're teaching you a little bit more in detail about how to spray products, spray liquid products on your yard. And we also have some uh, sprayer options inside the academy, so you can, you can check that out, gciturfacademy.com. And again, I appreciate you listening to me. I uh, hope this wasn't boring, hope, hope you learned something, hope it was educational, and I uh, hope it makes a difference in your yard. Have a good one.